Hi, this story is about a little Honda that was getting a check engine light with the codes P0420 and P430 stored, which is the catalytic converters at low efficiency. So today we're going to replace the catalytic converter and the exhaust manifold on this little Honda Civic 2000 model. The first thing you want to do is raise the vehicle and support it properly. Um, if you're going to only raise the front like I did, be sure to support the back tire so it doesn't roll. Um, put the emergency brake on. Um, you also probably want to pre-soak all the nuts or studs for the exhaust manifold and for uh, the catalytic converter that joined the catalytic converter to um, the lower exhaust tube. Um, Pre-soak all the nuts and bolt, uh, all the nuts and studs with uh, WD-40 or some kind of penetrating oil, also that they're easier to remove. All right. Well, let's get started on the little Honda. So first thing you want to do is disconnect the top oxygen sensor. Remove the, the top by, um, there's a clip, and just push down and slide it out. And the bottom will come out uh, with a little another a little pinch clip, and it slides out that way. Then you want to remove the two 12 millimeter nuts to remove the cover. Once you have removed the cover, it exposes the studs for the exhaust manifold. You can soak these with uh, penetrating oil. The longer the better. Um, you can also have access to this one down here. Connecting, connecting the lower exhaust to the Kelly converter. So you can soak that as well. Um, you can leave these soaking. The longer the better. Um, while they're soaking, you can also remove the bottom lower cover, plastic cover. Here. Tap access to the, the lower nuts for the Kelly converter. So you want to start by removing the screws on the side. There is uh, 10 millimeter plastic screws. Remove the little plastic insert. Don't lose that. Some of them might be missing. Depends on who worked on it and what they did. But there's uh, one on this side and then uh, two on the other side. The lower cover can be removed by removing the 10 millimeter screws. And then you can have access to, better access to the joints for the uh, Kelly converter to lower exhaust pipe. Let's do that, remove the cover. Once the cover has been removed, you'll then have access to the lower exhaust nuts and bolt, as well as the oxygen sensor connector here. So you want to disconnect the oxygen sensor. And then remove the nuts and bolt to drop the uh, lower exhaust connection. The sensor connector can be removed by pressing this clip and sliding it off the bracket. Just like the top one. And then to disconnect it, press here and to separate it. Like 
so. Once the three nuts have been removed, and the one bolt, as well as the disconnect for the sensor, you can go back up to the top and start removing the exhaust manifold bolts. So I just had to loosen the, the lower bracket here, um, the mounting bracket, to remove the oxygen sensor. Okay, I'm going to need to grab it. There you go. That's how I can burn. It's removed. So the new catalytic converter manifold assembly requires some assembly. It's a two-piece unit. It's the box says uh, made in USA, as did the description uh, on Amazon. But after I move the cover, <laughs> and here we are. It says uh, China right there. So, um, and uh, quality is uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see how it works. But um, this is a mating surface with this here. And what kind of QC was done, you can see um, there's a ball, splatter ball, right on the gasket surface area. So I'll have to remove that. But easy enough, but just the QC control was not done. Um, that should have been done in QC. Um, it came in this box, and the box was... Uh, there was no packing material in there. They were just put in there. It's amazing that they didn't get messed up. Um, and it says, uh, very small print here. Made in the USA. Just right there. Um, yep, made in the USA. Very small. But... We'll see how it works. It was two hundred fifty dollars or so. So, um, gotta assemble this part. The one of the bolts didn't want to come out. They they fastened the bolts in here, and um, one of the bolts was really didn't want to come out and kind of stripped out a little bit. I think I'll be able to use it still. But um, anyway, we'll see. Um, they did provide the wrong exhaust, lower exhaust gasket. This is what they provided, which it requires um, so it requires a much wider and taller gasket than what they provided. So I won't be able to finish tonight. So, that's it for now. 
All right, here we are back at the little Honda. So I went out and found the right exhaust flange gasket. And this is what they sent me. That's what came out of there. And here's the new one, correct new one. So, um, however, I decided before I'm gonna put this together, I'm actually going to um, taper these uh, studs as I can and uh, just in case it has to be removed or whatever, and I'm going to taper, taper these off a little bit. Um, so I'll do that now. All right, just going to taper them down a little bit here. So I'm going to apply a little anti-seize to these bolts and also to the uh, studs and the inside of the nuts that go in the studs. Keep them from seizing if I have to take it apart at some point later, years later. It's also good to apply the NICs on the studs of the exhaust manifold. All right, once the unit is assembled, you can, uh, it's ready to be installed in the car. Um, one thing I want to note, if you have a unit like this where you have to bolt the exhaust manifold to the catalytic converter, on these bolts, you don't want to Tighten one down all the way. You want to tighten them down corner to corner slowly. And so you have it even sealed on, on, on the gasket. So don't tighten one all the way down and then tighten the other. Tighten a little bit on each one. Um, just cross hatch. Um, you also want to install the bottom, the lower sensor. Um, I used a little bit of uh, anti seize on that as well. Um, be careful with that. Uh, you don't want to apply too much and have it interfere with the sensor. So I just apply a little bit to keep it from uh, seizing up in there. Um, you want to install the unit the same way you took it out um, from the bottom. And uh, you'll angle the, the exhaust manifold in there and just kind of, I kind of hung it on the, the muffler and then I went on the top and, and pulled it up from there. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's finish this up. You also want to make sure that you install both your uh, gaskets. Put the uh, uh, manifold gasket on on the head and um, install the muffler seal gasket. You can see the gasket fits perfect, so that's great. You want a good seal. I had to go through all this trouble and then um, have it leak. So. Just something to be noted about. Some of the kits don't come with the right disc. So previously I already checked the fit. I didn't show that, but not a bad thing to do. And um, 
this one, everything lined up just great. So when tightening the bottom flange, three, three nuts, you want to make sure that you, uh, again, you tighten them down a little bit at a time. Don't, uh, don't over tighten one side or another. Okay, tight, but don't over tighten. Don't strip the threads. And uh, connect my bracket bolt. I'm going to apply some anti seize on that as well. Okay, before I finish this, I'm going to go back up top and tighten down all the exhaust manifold nuts. On the exhaust manifold nuts, you'll need to tighten those down in a pattern as well. Um, I like to go in from top, middle, that one, reverse the order. And I'll start with the center. Now, torque them down. I'm just going to install the, the sensor and put the shield on and put the cover, the little cover back on. Again, I'm just going to apply a very light coat of anti-seize to the sensor threads. You don't want to put too much or it will run down and interfere with the sensor. Don't need to over tighten it. No tighter than a spark plug. I'm going to apply some anti seize to the cover bolts as well. Tighten the lower mount. Install the cover back. When installing the lower cover, you want to install it in the reversed order in which you removed it. Slide the cover up at, behind the front bumper and then put in the three metal bolts at the front. The plastic bolts don't really tighten anything. They just kind of thread in. Do the other side. 
There's only one. I believe there's supposed to be two more underneath here, but these are missing. Then tighten the three metal bolts at the front. Again, don't over tighten these. And here we have the catalytic converter replacement on a 1997 through 2000 Honda Civic. You will need to clear the check engine light codes P0420 and P0430 with a scan tool. Good luck with your repairs. And so that's the story of a little Honda that was given a check engine light with the air code stored P0420 and P0430. Catalytic converter not running efficiently. So to replace the catalytic converter on this vehicle, the tools you need are a torque wrench, half inch drive breaker bar, um, half inch drive uh, extensions. They'll need a three inch drive ratchet with a short extension, seven eighths wrench or a crescent wrench to remove the oxygen sensor. You'll need a uh, stud insulation tool if you have to install the studs on the, on the unit that you get, depending on which um, catalytic converter you buy. Um, I needed a 12 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, a half inch drive, and a 15 millimeter, 14, 13, 12, and a 10 millimeter socket. Um, also needed a 10 millimeter X drive, uh, a soft pry bar for removing the front lower cover, and some anti seize. So uh, thank you for viewing this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, like it if you like it. If you don't, well, good day to you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.